News Radio 970 KBUL. Tommy B. It's the Bulletin. You know, understanding is the elixir that reveals your place in eternity. And with it, your beliefs can be aligned and your imagination ignited to achieve anything you can dream of. And I'm not kidding. Anything you can dream of. That's according to my guest today, Mike Dooley. He's an international tax accountant turned entrepreneur turned writer for the universe. He's a featured teacher in The Secret Book and DVD, and he's actively using those concepts and principles that he expounds upon to travel the world, speaking on life, dreams, and happiness, and writing about it all for us, The Art of Living Your Dreams, his book, Infinite Possibilities. Delighted to have Mike Dooley on the show. Mike, great to have you. Good morning. Thank you, Tommy. Nice to be with you. You know, you talk uh, in the early part about your book about m- most of us just lost in space. <laughs> What, what? Well, we are, and we've yet to discover the truth about reality and our heritage, hence lost in space. Um, but, but things are quickly changing. People are waking up to their power. They're soon going to be waking up to their responsibility to themselves so that they stop looking to other people, uh, blaming, etc. And then we will truly... Uh, see a new world order in time and space. Maybe not without reading the book, though. i got to tell you, you asked some questions in the early part of the book, and I, I answered them yes, which was not the right answer <laughs> until I got done, and I'll tell everybody what I'm talking about. Are successful people smarter than us, than me? Uh, are, are, have they paid more dues or greater dues? And, you know, I answered yes to all those, Mike, and I was going to... Oh, my god! I did. I was like, no, you know what? They're they all smarter. Come on, we have to... Just as I say... Uh, and, and to my audiences, all you've got to do is turn on your TV to realize that, that some of the people who have achieved stellar success, who live in wild abundance, have no more intelligence, often far less intelligence than us, because there is no connection between uh, brilliance or intelligence or high IQ and putting yourself in the place of, of living your wildest dreams or, or even abundance. There's no connection. Just look at the people who have abundance um, and consider this a, a refreshing um, splash in the face. You don't have to be an Einstein. You don't have to be a saint. You don't have to do anything other than choose your thoughts, your words, and your actions wisely. Because when you do, you set into motion forces in the unseen. Because, come on, no matter who you are, you believe there's a magic to life. You know, we have the spark of divinity in all of us. We are not in earnest inert lumps of clay we have far more than a 50 50 chance of survival so you just you push the right buttons you discover what those buttons are which is what i'm talking about when i say understanding understanding is the key then you push the buttons and the hard stuff is done for you Hmm. why don't we come in with that though mike i mean if it was so easy and and if we do what you say in the book it sounds easy enough it, it it could not could not possibly be any easier. But that's a great question. Why don't we come in with it? Well, if you will, and we have to speak metaphorically here because we're going beyond time and space to talk about kind of the, the origins of uh, reality. So, so words almost pale. But, but metaphorically, we wanted the challenge. Each and every one of us, however hard to comprehend this is at first, each and every one of us existed before time and space. We will exist after time and space. We are eternal. That's not a new concept for anyone. If we're eternal after time and space, after being here, surely we were eternal before we got here. We were. Logical, deductive reasoning can take us to this place. So we came from, from the zenith of our awareness without the amnesia, wanting adventure. We wanted to experience the highs, the lows. If you pause for a minute and contemplate what God, if you will, God's emotions are, there can be none. It's only the illusions or our belief in the illusions of time, space, and matter that give rise to the emotions that we experience. Because, if you will, divine intelligence is always, everywhere, at once. There's no goodbyes, there's no heartaches, there's nothing incomplete, there's nothing not finished. Divine intelligence thinks of it, experiences it. That would get old. After a few zillion billion years, that would get old, <laughs> however facetious that sounds. So really? divine intelligence wanted to experience it in a whole new way. Hence, 
the fall from grace, the uh, you know the Adam and Eve story. Uh, all of a sudden, divine intelligence is peering through the eyes of two mortals, not even realizing that they're do- that they themselves are pure divine intelligence. But but by not realizing it, by having this self-imposed amnesia, all of a sudden the adventures begin. Mm-hmm. And then in the beginning, we kind of walk around as if uh, we were blindfolded, bumping into walls, asking questions like, how come it's not easier? But as we start paying attention, as we start asking the hard questions and, and, all, and, and realizing, discovering that they have answers, all of a sudden it's like, hey, we don't have to live accidentally. Hey, we don't have to wait for life to happen to us. Hey, we can take the initiative. Look at what look at what others have done. I can do, and then we start living deliberately, and it's like the lights come on, and uh, it's a whole new ball game. And it was all for the adventure, because in the end, if you will, we all end up back in the palm of God's hand, one united, complete. Nothing was lost. Um, everything was gained. Hmm. You know, when you said bumping into the walls, that uh, it, it drew a picture for me, Mike, that I hadn't <laughs> thought about when we were when, when I was reading the book. Be- um, but I have read the book, and I, I mean, I'm, I, sometimes my my idea, the answer is ahead of my question, you know, because I know mm-hmm. where I'm going, and you don't. But l- 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 get back to the bumping in the walls for a minute. If if I'm just going to put a blindfold on and walk around in a room that I've never been into, I'm probably going to get hurt. But if I put a blindfold on and walk around in a room, and I know that there's people there, making sure I don't get hurt, well, I'll wander around, you know, and have a good time. Well, and I think the latter is exactly what's going on. We all know the potentials, the possibilities, or I call them probabilities. Every life has built-in probabilities. You know, if you're going to be born in Soweto during the 1980s, you, have, you know what the probabilities are for abuse, for violence, etc. Right. And you choose according to your own temperament, knowing that this is one of millions of choices, that you are an eternal creature, and life is not about being born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Other lifetimes, and I do believe we have multiple choices, you might choose to be born in Montana or Florida or Beverly Hills, 90210, for the different probabilities that it would avail you of. But always, your choices would be aligned with your uh, appetite for learning, your appetite for uh, risk, if you will, your appetite for adventure. And always there would be along the way guides, friends, mentors. We all have them in our life. They're not there accidentally. No one is in our life accidentally. And so there is this built-in support system, and it's not like we're completely fumbling around in the dark. I mean, look, the kind of message I have, uh, you know, I believe if to my core that I'm speaking about eternal, timeless truths. The kind of messages I have have been echoed throughout time immemorial by by sages, by seers. There's, there's, I'm certainly not the only one alive today who's made it their life's purpose to kind of share the truth and, and bring in some light to these darkened rooms. So, so the helpers have been there all along, and we've never chosen a, a path that has challenges we couldn't uh, overcome. Uh, similarly, we do not have dreams that cannot come true. You know, my message is not one, hey, hang in there, <clears throat> you're here by your choice, and you're going to survive. My message is, hey, you are the gladiator of reality. You spun time and space into being along with all of your fellow co-creators. You are here to thrive. It's just a matter of understanding the truth about your power, your heritage, and then you don't have to learn how to make your thoughts become things. You don't have to learn how to become a manifesto. You just have to realize You've been doing it your whole life. It's just a matter of changing the channel and continuing to do what you've already mastered so well, creating and forging circumstances that, that yield manifestations that mirror what you've been focusing on, thinking about, and, and preparing for. Well, that's an exciting adventure. <laughs>